Gennady Golovkin is finally getting his third fight with Canelo Alvarez as the two fighters are set to meet on September 17th in their trilogy match on the Zone pay-per-view at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Canelo vs Triple G3 taking place in Las Vegas, Nevada at the T-Mobile Arena on September 17th. The first two Canelo vs Golovkin fights were staged at the T-Mobile and both controversial results left boxing fans feeling less than happy with the outcome. The first fight was just a travesty, with Canelo given a 10-2 score by one judge in a match that Golovkin appeared to win 8-4. This is officially a draw! In another thrilling and razor thin 12 round battle in Las Vegas, Canelo defeated Golovkin via majority decision. That was an epic middleweight title fight and I'd love to see a, a third one. Since failing against Alvarez, Golovkin never recorded any loss in his fight with another boxer. Last May. Canelo lost to WBA light heavyweight champion Dmitry Bivol by a 12 round unanimous decision at the T-Mobile Arena, with the three judges turning in identical scores of 115 to 113 in a fight that many boxing fans felt was a vast victory for the champ. Canelo just lost to Bivol. Triple G has always been a tough fight for Canelo. This will be billed as one of the biggest fights of 2022, with Canelo needing a win more than ever after losing to Dmitry Bivol in his last outing. The 31-year-old Mexican plans to end Golovkin's career, as it is the first time Golovkin moves to a new stage as a super middleweight. It's personal for me, because he talked a lot of things. This would mark the first time that Triple G will be listed as a betting underdog in a fight that odds have been made available for. But Triple G is Triple G, man. He still got the power. This also marks the first time that Canelo is coming off a defeat since he fell to Floyd Mayweather in 2013, losing by a majority decision. Canelo is coming off a fresh surprise loss. But it came as he stepped up in weight class to fight against the WBA light heavyweight champion Dmitry Bivol. If he loses to Triple G on September 17, where do you go from there? However, in the last four fights, Canelo prevailed in the super middleweight division to become undisputed. He has won world titles in four different weight classes and that alone shows how brilliant and smart he is as a fighter. The super middleweight lineal champion is at the age of 31 and he is still in his prime and nothing can be taken away from his greatness despite his two losses. Since the second meeting between these competitors, Canelo has scored 7 wins, including a knockout victory at light heavyweight against Sergei Kovalev, while also becoming the undisputed super middleweight champion. All of those titles will be on the line for this fight. The legacy he built so far makes him deservedly the favorite at Canelo vs Golovkin 3 betting gods. Besides, the trilogy will take place at 168, the weight class that Canelo is most comfortable at. You believe you win this fight by knockout? That's the only way I, I want to finish this fight. So. Expect nothing more than the highest level of performance from the Mexican Lion. I, I think Canelo stops Triple G. If he don't stop him, I think he's gonna hurt him badly. Golovkin has one loss and a draw in 44 bouts and both of these blemishes are against Canelo. He is rattled off four victories since his last encounter with Canelo with three of them being knockouts, including stopping Ryota Murata in April of this year to now own three middleweight world titles. However, Golovkin failed to have fought at similar caliber as Canelo in recent years. 
This is probably due to boxing politics and the lack of great fighters in the middleweight division. But it certainly prevented Golovkin from enjoying a similar level of competitiveness as Canelo. There are a couple of obvious weaknesses of Triple G. The first one is about his age at 40. The second one is about him fighting in the middleweight division all his life. Now he is about to step up in weight. Despite these couple of weaknesses, Golovkin still offers a big threat to defeat Canelo. Golovkin has great power and he is well known for his high volume of jabs. I'm still a fighter, I'm still hungry, I'm still eager. His hands have led to 37 of his 42 wins, ending by way of knockout. The first fight was just as many expected when Triple G and Canelo stepped into the ring. As Golovkin pushed the pace, landing constant heavy jabs, Alvarez used his footwork and counters to do damage. Golovkin looked like he had taken the majority of rounds and appeared to be the more dominant fighter, despite a late push put on by Alvarez. I honestly believe that I did not lose my fights. Although the two boxers put on a tremendous display for the fans, it was the judges who stole the show on the night of September 16, 2017. It is officially a draw! Golovkin and Alvarez were set to do it again on Cinco de Mayo in 2018, but Canelo was cut taking a performance enhancer called Clan Buterol, although he claims it came from tainted meat. So, the fight was then postponed until September, two days shy of a year removed from the first bout. Canelo had a much different game plan in the rematch, being much more the aggressor and forcing Triple G to fight moving backward. Both fighters stood toe to toe landing and absorbing ferocious shots. Once again, the general public saw this as a narrow Triple G victory or a draw, but the judges saw it another way. Triple G landed the most punches, like the first fight. Canelo landed the more powerful punches, like the first fight. We really could have had another draw. Canelo's plan of beating Bivol and then fighting Golovkin failed as the bigger and more skilled Bivol dominating him. I tried to do something, but my body don't respond. We all knew an immediate rematch with Bivol would not happen because Canelo knows beating Bivol is a long shot at best and the second decisive loss could put a massive dent in Canelo's career. There is obviously unfinished business here. A lot of people thought Triple G won the first fight. Canelo won the second, but it was still very close. Besides, Golovkin vs Canelo 3 is the biggest money showdown for both fighters. It's the biggest gift for people who really like boxing. The two champions have shared 24 rounds of their rivalry in the middleweight class. It's hard for me to compare this fight with any other fight, but I know that it's going to be a, a tough fight. Canelo may have overlooked Bivol in his previous match, but he will be ready for Golovkin. We're going to see a better Canelo this time around that we haven't seen in a long time. Alvarez has won too many advantages walking into this delayed rematch and should be able to walk away with the decision victory in a very competitive fight.